How's it going everybody? Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Rust with Oxide on Linux. So before I go to get started, I want to take you to the Steam CMD page here. We're going to go over a couple things. We're going to click on Linux. We'll just go down a little bit. So if you do not have a 64-bit Linux machine, if your machine is running 32-bit, all you will need to do is run this command right here, sudo apt install steamcmd. However, if you are running a 64-bit version, like myself, you will need these uh, dependencies. So just go through and uh, install all these. Once you install all these, then run the install steamcmd uh, command. If you uh, just run this command to install steamcmd, and you don't have these dependencies, when you open up steamcmd, you will get an error. Now from that, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is connect to our machine via SSH. And so just how we do that, we're gonna do SSH. Your username will be different than mine and your IP address will also be different than mine. But we're gonna do the IP address. Mine is this. And then after we do that, we're gonna hit enter. And then we're gonna do the password for that user. And hit enter again. Now we are connect it to our server. We're gonna clear this so it's not an interface. Uh, first thing I like to do is create a new user. So we're gonna do sudo add user, we'll call it Rust, hit enter. We'll do the sudo password. If you're logged in as root, you don't need to do all that. And then the password for the user, and then confirm that password. And just leave all that blank. All right, new user is created. So let's go ahead and log into that user. So we're going to do su space dash rust, hit enter, and then the password for that user. All right, now that we're logged in, we're going to make a directory with mkdir space, and then we'll call it server. Hit enter. Then we're going to cd into that directory by doing cd space and server, and then hit enter. Then you do a pwd, hit enter. And this prints our working directories. I want to go ahead and copy this. And then we're going to run Steam CMD. If you're running it for the first time, it will need to initialize and download. All right, now that, that is installed, what we're going to want to do, we're going to type in force underscore install underscore dir for a directory. And then we're going to paste in that, uh, the, uh, that path there that we copied just a minute ago. I'm going to add a trailing slash, hit enter. Then we're going to do login anonymous, hit enter again. All right, made the font a little bit bigger for everybody to be able to read here. All right, so now that we're logged in, we're going to do app underscore update, then the app ID, which is 258550. Then we're going to hit enter. Now this will take some time depending on your internet, so just wait for that to finish. Alrighty, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and type in exit. And one thing I forgot to do, terribly sorry, but we are gonna have to go back here. We're gonna do sue, and I'm gonna log into my, my studio uh, yours might be root. And uh, we need to do sudo apt install on zip minus y to enter. Perfect. Now we have an on zip program. All right, so let's go ahead and sue back into our Rust user here. All right, now that we're in here, if we do cd server, to ls you can see that we have all the server files that seem to be just pulled for us so now what we're going to want to do is download rust uh rust oxide we're going to do that by copying a link which i will have down in the description below we're going to do wget space and then this link right here we're going to hit enter then we need to unzip that and overwrite anything that it needs to overwrite. So how we're gonna do that, we're gonna type in onzip minus O for overwrite. And then it's going to be, let me actually show you here. If you do another LS, you see we have oxide.rust here. So if you do onzip dash O, then oxide.rust zip, hit enter. That will onzip and overwrite any files. So if you go back to LS, 
everything that's in that folder got it uh, unzipped to the uh, Rust dedicated underscore data folder. And just to verify that, we can CD into it. Then run the LS and then CD into managed and run the LS. And then as you can see here, we have all the oxide stuff. So let's go back. All right, now we need a startup script. Uh, you can just run just this if you really wanted to, but I prefer using a startup script. So what I want to do is I'm going to do nano uh, startup and dot sh, hit enter. Then we're going to paste some stuff in. Don't worry, I will also have all this stuff down in the description below for you to be able to copy and paste yourselves. All right, then here you're just going to fill out the information that you would want to fill out, your description, website, your uh, banner image, the map, map size, all that stuff. This is going to be the folder that everything gets placed in. So we'll just call this a uh, server. And then your server name, change that to whatever you want your server name to be. Let's call this one's Rust server. Change your archon password, your ports. We're going to need to know these here in a minute. And your IP address. So for example, if I'm going to be doing mine on a local host. So I'll do 127.0.0.1. And that's going to be the archon IP as well. You will need to do the same thing but different actually, I'm sorry, not to, don't do the same thing. Um, if you want it to be connectable from outside your network, if you're hosting this on your own personal machine, you're gonna wanna put the uh, your public facing IP address. Once you're done with all the settings that you wanna do, you're gonna do control X, Y, and then enter. And then we're gonna do chmod U plus X, and then start up the sh and hit enter and then if we run ls again you can see our startup script is right here however before we do that we are going to need to open up some ports in our firewall so in order to do that we need to be back on a sudo -er. so i'm going to sudo or sorry switch back over to my main account that has sudo access and we're going to open up some ports in the firewall all right, now that we are in our main sudo account here, uh, if you're hosting this locally and not on a render server, uh, you're going to want to open up port 22 so you can continue to access your shell. So if you're hosting this locally, you don't need to worry about uh, opening up port 22. However, if you want it to be accessed remotely, open up port 22. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do sudo ufw allow 22. And then we're going to sudo ufw enable it. We're going to hit yes on that. So that now if we do sudo ufw status, you can see what ports we have going on. Just 22. And now I'm going to copy and paste in the rest of the ports that we need. Uh, don't worry. Like I said, for everything else, everything that I copy and paste will be down in the description below for you guys to follow as well. All right. Now after doing all the ports, if we do sudo ufw status, you can see all the ports for TCP and UDP are open. Now, if we switch back to our Rust user here, and then we're gonna go ahead and start up rest by doing a screen dash S, we'll call it server. So we can detach and retach when we need to, if we need to access the console. And then we're gonna uh, CD into our server folder. And then we're going to start our rest server by doing dot startup dot sh and then hitting enter. Once this boots up for the very first time, you will then have your access to the plugins and everything that you wanna do. So we're gonna go ahead and let the server boot up here. All right, since it generated the config file, uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna go ahead and kill this by doing control A, then K, then Y. Then uh, if we CD back into our server folder here, and then do LS, you can see we have an oxide folder. So if we CD into our, uh, if I can spell, our oxide folder, do that LS, we should have a plugins folder. There we go, plugins folder. We're gonna CD into our plugins folder. Do LS, should be empty, which it is. So let's say you want to plug in, uh, the first one I clicked on happened to be Vanish. So, so you want to be able to Vanish. You're going to get the link and copy the download link. And then what all we got to do is type in wget and then paste that download link for Vanish. It's this right here. And hit enter. And if you do LS, you can see we have the Vanish plugin right there. And you're going to do that for all your plugins. Once you do that for all your plugins, you're going to go back to your server folder and then you're going to open up your new screen and then we're going to start up the server again. And now your server will start up with all your mods. Once the server's fully booted up, feel free to connect to it. And that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you on the next one.